first time in a long. This is the first time. So I've been playing with the stem player for the last seven days. I can't, I kind of consider myself a pro now. But today I'm gonna give you guys a full rundown, breakdown of my original thoughts, opinions on it, why I love the product, things I would improve on it. And also I'm gonna give you guys a little insight of something that nobody's talking about of how this, this little product here, as significant and small as it may seem, has so much power and what I believe it will do to re revolutionize the music industry. So let's get into it. For starters, guys, the only way you can listen to the Don the Two album is on the Stempler. That's one of the reasons I ordered it, but not the only reason. I actually was very interested when I first saw it and saw the way it worked. And if you haven't uh, heard about this before, it breaks down any song into four different stems, meaning that it puts the vocals on one channel, the instrumental on another channel, the drums on a different channel, and then the uh, bass on a separate channel. So there's four different ones and you can control the song as it's playing. You can isolate them, you can do effects for each of them, um, and you can pretty much create your, your own version of each song while you're playing it. But this is my honest review. Let's start with the actual design of it. Now, when I first uh, took it out of the box, one of the things I realized it was uh, actually it's in the same skin tone. Kind of, it almost feels like it's very organic, native to it being part of you. So that, I really enjoyed that. I, I thought that was very genius. I don't know if they actually thought about that when they were designing it or not. The other thing I really enjoyed is that it's the size of like one of your fingers, uh, the average size of a, of, a, of a human, I would say. So you can have it on one hand. I like using it like this. That's my favorite way because you can move it around and stuff like that while you're playing it. I love that part of the design. The fact that it, it, almost, it almost fits perfectly in your hand. You know, it's not too big um, and it's not too small either. It's like, like I said, it's almost perfect. So let's do a quick tutorial. Let's, uh, let's play something. Pretty much it's broken down to four different stems and it's got the vocals, it's got the drums, it's got the bass and the instrumental and it's got this pause and play button. And then it also has these three buttons uh, over here. This is a power button, but it's also a effects button, all right? And then it has the volume up and down, and then it has uh, the back track, forward track. Actually, back track, forward track, my bad. Um, but the way I like to hold it, the way I like to hold this is with my index finger right here, and it leaves, it leaves the speaker wide open so you, can, so you can play out loud. And it also allows my thumb right here to be able to just move around. Let's go to one of Kanye's songs here. This is my favorite song, so I'm gonna choose that. So I can isolate, I can isolate instrumental. Ooh, the bass. The vocals. This is the first time in a long time. This is the first time in a long time. Steady. They don't want to set me. My doctor, doctor's on sebi. My crisis on heavy. My now, one of my favorite features is that you can actually upload your own music to it. I personally just uploaded one of my own songs from the Guru Cats album, which is coming. Let me play it for you guys since I don't have copyright. There's no copyright issues with that itself. <laughs> So it's, it's like, you're almost like creating this relationship with the stem player, um, the way it used to be back in the 90s and 2000s, early 2000s, where you really had to choose what songs are you going to record on your cassette tape or which songs you were going to upload to your CD that you're going to burn or which songs you were going to upload to your MP3 player, you know, because you had to choose. So that's also something that I really enjoy about it. It gives me some, you know, nostalgic 
type feelings like this relationship that you used to have with your Walkman. I really feel this is gonna really change the way musicians think about releasing music and the way they monetize music, first of all. Um, I think Kanye West, one of the reasons he decided to do this is not because he wants to make $200 of each of his fans. He's more trying to make a statement on the way these contracts are only in favor of the music label and not the artist. I believe he mentioned in his, on his Instagram that only 12% of actual revenue from streams goes to the artist and the rest goes to, I don't know who, labels and stuff like that. But he was able to generate more revenue in one day than um, he would have generated in over 100 million streams, I believe. And that's just from the stem player. Now, it does put like this big obstacle for you to listen to the Donda 2 album because you gotta have one of these or you gotta know somebody that owns one of these. You know, I think that's something I believe he was willing to sacrifice the amount of people that can listen to it uh, to make this statement. And two, it opens up this idea, kind of like what's happening in the, in the Web3 space, NFT space, where artists can now upload their own albums as NFTs and people can download them directly, upload them to their actual stem player. Imagine there's a portal, for example, stemplayernft.com, and then you can go there and look for different independent artists that are releasing their music and you can support them directly knowing that 100% of the money you're paying is specifically so they can generate revenue for their business. There's this artist named Ryan Leslie. I'm not sure if you've heard about him before. He's in, he was one of the first independent artists in the hip hop space that had a you know, top 40 song, top 20 song. And he, he never signed with the label. And one of the reasons he never signed with the label, and he's spoken about this because, because the same exact reason that Kanye is doing this right now. And I believe he had a, he had a magic number and I could, I could be off by this because this, this happened years ago, but I think it was 12,000 fans is what you need to be supporting you as far as like buying your music consistently um, directly from you in order for you to be part of the 1% of earners in the music industry. So think about that. Like it's, you know, when you, when you think about some of these artists that have millions and millions of fans and yet they're not making enough revenue, they have to be on tour, they have to be selling merch, they have to be doing brand deals. If not, they don't, you know, like they say, they don't eat. And this is what I believe the stem player represents. It's this new revolution of the way artists now can monetize their music. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to keep playing with my stem player and uh, my kids actually all want one. So if you guys want to uh, support, um, subscribe, reshare this video, maybe some of the streams will help me pay for more stem players. <laughs> all right, guys, see you guys next time. Peace.